Hi, my name is Ian Burrell and I'm the Global Realm Ambassador. Basically what that means is I get to travel to some amazing places around the world and discover various different types of rums and also get to taste and try them as well. But someone has to do that. Now, the bigger brother or big sister, uh, the five plus five. And a uh, few mathematicians out there, that's 10, 10. Five years in the Caribbean, the three years that initially had inside the dry sherry castle of the Dos Cordados, and then it's an extra two years in the Pedro Jimenez castle. And then, as we know with Pedro Jimenez, it's a sweeter sherry. So it's gonna add a slight different flavor to the actual rum. In fact, let's uh, have a little pour of the Pedro Jimenez. And as you can see, big, thick, viscous, um, dark sherry, very, very sweet. Oh. Lots of aromas of sweet grapes and figs. Ah, oh, very, very sweet, thick rum. Sorry, sherry. Mm. Great for after dinner, um, desserts. It's a nice, nice way to finish off the meal. But if we add that to the rum, if we take the five plus three and age it for a further two years in casks that actually had the Pedro Jimenez, then it's gonna give a much more sweeter finish. It's gonna give it a bit more complexity. It's gonna give it a different type of body. And that's what we're looking for in the rum. So let's uh, have a taste of the rum. Not as viscous as the Pedro Jimenez, obviously. It's a little bit stronger, 40% alcohol by volume. So you're actually going up in strength as well as going up in aging if you're migrating from the five plus three onto the PX. As we hold it up to the light, again, you can see that little tiny green hue just as the liquid hits the glass to the top, again, showing some good aging. Beautiful, uh, nice, warm, mahogany color. Um, again, that's from the way that the interaction of the rum has taken some of the, the, the charring of the inside of the barrel. It's taken out some of the, uh, the sweet PX inside the cast for those extra two years inside the Solera system. Nose. Wow. If you do get to know some of what's called the uh, Don Guido PX, you'll see a lot of similarities. That dark fruit you get in, black cherries, bits of fig and date. Wow, definitely getting the word and touches of uh, cacao as well. Almost like Christmas cake, uh, if you have a Christmas cake, especially my grandmother's Christmas cake, because she puts a lot of rum inside her fruit before she adds that in there. And this is what I'm getting here, is like grandmother's Christmas cake taste. Mm. Oh wow, definitely get what's called uh, the initial taste of the dark fruit that you maybe picked up onside the uh, Pedro Jimenez. So you're getting like black cherries and dates, fig notes, the wood, the vanilla, brown sugar, almost like a Christmas cake. It's like my grandmother's Christmas cake because she normally, when she makes a Christmas cake, she soaks the fruit inside there for at least about a month, blends it up, makes, makes a, a, a Christmas cake. And this is what this reminds me of, grandmother's Christmas cake. Nice and warm as it goes down, like liquid central heating, but quite smooth. It's not, not, as, not as sharp as you may have, may have thought it would have been, maybe a lot, a lot lighter than the cast rent from that we had earlier. Wow, nice balance of sweet, um, long, medium to long finish of wood. Mm. Wow, that is a five plus five. Or a 10 year old, <laughs> depending on what you want to call it. But five plus five is a nice way to uh, tell the story of five years in the Caribbean and then five years in this nice, beautiful Spanish coastal city of Jerez.